Hey everybody, this video once again brings us out to Winter Garden, Florida. I almost, I almost did it again. I keep wanting to say wherever I am, Pennsylvania, we are in Florida. Winter Garden, Florida, because today I've got more errands that have to be run. I've got to go to the post office. I got things to do today. We're probably gonna do a little thrifting as well. I'm gonna probably go hit up a, um, a Goodwill. So anyway, I have um, something I need to pick up. Well, some things possibly I have to pick up here from Home Depot. I wouldn't normally go to Lowe's, but Lowe's did not have what I was looking for yesterday. And I bought something here from Home Depot. It turns out I actually don't want it. So I'm gonna return what I bought from uh, from Home Depot. Look to see if they have something else. Look to see if they have another thing. And there's another thing I need to, to get, which I'll just pick up from here because I'm, I'm here. Again, we have to go to the post office. Though we're gonna go to a different post office. Winter Garden has two post office. I'm in the, uh, my, po my PO box is in the smaller one with the crazy lady who did not want to do her job. Again, took a minute, minute and a half out of her life. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, so um, we're going to go to the other one just to test that, that, um, that post office out, see how that is, because who knows if it's better. Maybe um, when my PO box is up for renewal, I will get a PO box there instead. We'll, we'll see. So we have to do that. Um, I need to go to Petco. I need to, um, what else? I don't know. I, I have a list of things I need to do. We gotta, we gotta go places. We got things to do. It's just, it's my life as of right now. It's gonna be pretty much every day for the next, who knows how long. I mean, okay, come, come the weekend, probably gonna be doing some fun things, but during the week for the next while, it's gonna be me running errands and getting things done, and buying things, and fixing things. And there's, there's so much to get done. It's gonna be months and months and months of me getting things done and fixed up around the house and whatnot. So, Anyway, all of that, and then um, I'm probably gonna stop at the uh, the other, like the, the Winter Garden Goodwill, because I haven't been there yet since I moved down here, and I wanna check them out, so we're gonna do that. But before we do all that, look at this. Look at this like, army truck that's parked here in the uh, the parking lot of the, the Home Depot. I guess even the military shops at Home Depot. I would recommend Lowe's over Home Depot, but that's cool, look at that. Okay, that's, that's pretty awesome. I question though, is it? Is it military or is this just somebody who has a really awesome military truck they just drive? It's Florida, let's just put it that way. This could be a military vehicle or it could just be some some Florida guy who's like, I want, a, I want an army truck. And um, now that's, that's a standard everyday license plate. That's not a military license plate. So, and all the, all the military numbers have been like spray painted out. This is just some dude who wants a, who wants a bad butt. I'm not gonna see the, I'm, not, I'm gonna be PC. Wants a bad butt military vehicle to drive around Florida. <laughs> Things to get used to in this state. All right, anyway, Home Depot, let's go. Oh, I forgot, oh, oh, oh geez. I must forgot the thing I had to return. That would have been stupid. Uh, got it, all right. Let's go make a return. Let's go pick up a few things. And then let's go run a whole heck of a lot more errands. All right, so the uh, return has been made. So what is it I need to pick up? Well, I need something like this, but in but in brass, gold, but but in brass, not not silver. So we put a new um, kind of like coat rack. I'm sure it has a name, but a coat rack shoe display big thing in the in the front foyer of the um, of the uh, the house, and um, it had silver hooks, silver coat, coat, um, coat hooks. All, all the other hooks in the house are gold. So it, it kind of looks off. The problem is I can't really find anything like this that um, is in brass. I, I, they have all kinds of, they, they got black ones. They've got more silver ones. This is what I bought yesterday. This is what I ended up returning. I thought that was gonna be good. And then I, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. Like clearly there's a big difference in the um, the size and I bought these little ones and I'm like, yeah, that'll that'll work. And then I get home and realize it looks weird with tiny little coat hooks. So I need, I need these. Like why don't they have, like why don't they have a three? I need, I, I need three. Why don't they have a three pack in brass? I don't, I don't get it. So I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and had a really hard time finding brass ones. I don't, I don't, I get, no, does nobody like brass anymore? Anyway, so. They don't have anything here, so I'm not gonna get those. But what I do need is, um, let's see, that's a white one. I, you know, even though uh, white would make more sense, but the other ones we have are are silver, so I'm just gonna go with silver. Um, so I replaced the, or no, I, I bought one of these to um, for the front door of the house because the front door was like gonna swing into that new 
coat rack um, shoe display shoe holder thing that we that we bought for the for the for the foyer. And I had to buy one of these to keep the door from swinging into it. So I did that. But then in doing that, I realized, I don't know what it made me look, but I, I was kind of like, is, it, is this the same one as the one we have uh, on the pantry door? And I checked and the pantry door one is broken. So you ever see that episode of, uh, well, it's, not, it's a, not an episode, but a skit within um, Malcolm in the Middle where Hal, the, Hal the, um, uh, the dad, where he goes, I think, to fix a light bulb. And he fixes the light bulb and he realizes like, this thing's like squeaking and he goes to get WD-40 and then he realizes like the drawer's broken that the wd 40 is in, he has to fix the drawer. Basically, long story short, to fix a light bulb, he ends up like fixing 40 other things. I think um, the wife walks in <laughs> and she's like, Hal, you haven't fixed the light bulb yet. He's like, what's it look like I'm doing? He's got the whole house like torn apart and he's fixing all this stuff. That's me right now, that's, that's my life. I, I go to, I, I think I, I gotta fix one thing. I gotta fix this one, this one thing needs to be fixed. And then I find 40 more things. That have to be fixed or or things I need to buy for, for whatever reason <laughs> so it's an ongoing thing anyway I needed another one of these door stoppers the hinge pin a hinge pin door stop that's the technical term of what this thing is anyway I needed one of these because um the one for the pantry is broken okay so I got this return those they don't have code hooks I need stepping stones. I have this, um, we, we have this one area of, it's like a, I, I, don't, I don't know, flower, flower bed? It's not a flower bed, it's, it's like a stone, it's a stoned off flower bed area where there's like some plants. Anyway, I find myself walking through the stones all the time and I think to myself, I'm always walking through these stones, I'm always kicking the stones. It's because it's, it's in an area where to get to our garbage cans outside, like you walk past the, the like in between the garage and the, um, the, the cars, and it's like, you have to go, then go and go like around this thing. So nobody ever does it. I don't do it. Danielle doesn't do it. Nobody does it. We just walk straight over top of the, the stones, which is fine. But I was like, man, if I got some like, 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 it's like stepping stones, like two stepping stones right here, it would prevent us from like kicking the stones by accident all the time. So I want to get stepping stones. Do they have stepping stones here? We're going to find out. Although one thing I can't fix today, unfortunately, is my, my ear. Ever have one of those days where it's like your ear feels like it needs to pop and it won't? That's what I have going on right now. It's driving me nuts. Everything I say kind of, kind of sounds like it's muffled because my, I'm trying not to yell because my ear just like, it needs to, I keep like swallowing, hoping that that's the swallow where my ear goes and pops and it won't. It's driving me nuts. Something else I'm gonna have to deal with too is, um, is lighting. I have to figure out lighting for the, um, for the library once I do get the library set up because there's just one, there's one light fixture in there. That's not gonna, that's not gonna do. I'm probably gonna hire an electrician to come out and put some new lighting in the uh, the garage, but deal with that when the time comes. Anyway, I was told to go look in the garden section for for stepping stones, for pavers, as they call them. I don't know where they are, but supposedly they have them out here. All right. Well, the good news is I did find the pavers. So uh, uh, see, I caught see I called it a stepping stone. I was right. It is a stepping stone. Anyway, we need something like that, but not put into the grass. Put into the um, the flower bed. The, the issue is, the problem is, the bad news is, I did not actually measure the, um, the, the flower bed. So I don't know how many of these we need. I'm thinking maybe like one, like that size. I'm thinking maybe just one might, might be good from the, from the grass to the stepping stone, back to the grass. I'm thinking that that might, that might work. But then again, is it big enough that I might need two? Shoot really, really should have measured. I mean, I can return, they're only like eight bucks. I can return one, but like, do I wanna buy small, do I wanna buy two small ones? Or do I wanna buy like one big one? That's why you, you measure twice, cut once, or in this case, you measure twice by, by one, by one stepping stone. Yeah, I don't, I, was, I wasn't thinking. All right, so I made a decision based on price alone. The um, smaller, that's so loud. The smaller paving stones are only $2 a piece. So I'm gonna get two. I'm gonna get two small paving stones. Or sorry, see now I'm calling a paper stone. They're, they're stepping stones. I'm gonna get two small stepping stones. I think that will, um, that'll work. So the other issue though is I didn't grab a cart and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be carrying those by hand up to the front of the store. So. Now I have to go back to the front of the store, get a cart, come back to the back of the store, 
get the stepping stones, and then go back to the front of the store. Thinking isn't really something I'm capable of today. I really am second guessing those, um, <laughs> those stepping stones. I do wonder, do I need two or do I just need one big one? I don't, I don't know. Again, we're gonna find out when we get home. If I, if I have to, I'll return these. I was just hoping to avoid coming back out here again. Although it's, it's not like I won't be back in this area again, whether I'm at Home Depot or Lowe's. I mean, Lowe's is right down the street. So even if I'm just going to Lowe's, I can pop over here to Home Depot and return some stepping stones. All right, anyway, this is very, very noisy. Let's go put these in the cart and let's go, uh, I don't know where we're going next. Okay, so the next stop apparently is going to be Petco because according to the GPS, that was the, the next closest thing. I do kind of enjoy, what is this, Route 5th? Ooh, I thought my ear was going to pop there for a second. Darn it. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm enjoying Route 50 here. Pretty much everything you want is just on Route 50, no matter what. There's a, I think there's a Target, there's um, all kinds of restaurants, there's Home Depot and the Lowe's and the Petco and rooms to go. and I mean, pretty much anything. If you're, if you're looking for something, Pop on Route 50 and you can probably, probably find it. And it's only like, I don't know, five, 10 minute drive from my house, so not bad. Anyway, all right, Petco, I need to get um, a bowl. I need to get a, I need to get a dog, a, a, do, uh, a water bowl. Because the thing I'm using right now isn't working. And maybe a mat to go underneath the, um, the dog bowl as well. Even though I'm only really watching the dogs for, I'm basically pet sitting the dogs for two months. The dogs are, they're family dogs. They're really Brittany's dogs when we, um, she wanted to get the dogs. And my, my family's always had pets. We've always had dogs. And I knew they were quite a, um, quite an undertaking, a lot of responsibility to have a dog. And as such, I was like, eh, I don't really want the responsibility of a dog. And she's like, well, I'll, it was like, it's like when you have like a, like a little kid, I'll take care of it. Same thing. She's like, well, I'll take care of the dog. I'll, I'll, you know, give him water. I'll feed him. I'll take him out. I'll, supply whatever's needed to be supplied for the dogs. I was like, all right, if you're taking care of them, we can get them. And for the most part, she did. There were times where I had to take care of them as well. And now, because we had nowhere to really put them for the next like two months until she moves down here, I, I, I had to take the dogs. So I'm pet sitting, I'm pet sitting my own dogs for, um, for like two months until, what is on my hat? For two, ugh, until two months until um, she comes down and then she'll take them. But. Yeah, we need, we need something better for a water bowl. I, I have something I'm using, and I don't, I don't like it. And I want to put a mat underneath it because every time the dogs lap up the water, they're, they're making a mess. I don't want a mess. So some kind of pad and a water bowl. That's, that's what I'm on the hunt for right now. Okay, well, I think that was actually really easy. So I found this um, ceramic bowl here. It says good dog with a, uh, a bone on it. And it's kind of, well, it's like white but a little off-white, kind of grayish. So, so perfect for, for our home. And then I'll just give it to Brittany when, um, when she picks the dogs up. So that'll, that'll do. I'm not gonna get a metal one. I, I used to have a metal dog dish for one of our dogs back in the day. And I, I noticed like, it was like this film. I don't know, it, it was coming off the metal. It was like this weird, like metallic-y film that would like sit on the top of the water. I was like, oh, I don't want my dogs drinking, drinking that. So, I don't do metal dog dishes. It's just, it's not good. I, I'd rather do ceramic or plastic. We used to have a plastic one. I don't see plastic ones here. So whatever, it's like, it's 12 bucks for this really nice, it's a nice look, it's a nice looking ceramic bowl and they've got gray mass. Look at that. Bam, per perfect. That, that'll be, yeah, that's, that's a good, that's a good mat. That's a good folder. That's a, that's a good mat. <laughs> anyway, so I'm picking those up. Dog dishes are fine. They already have dog dishes. They have like collapsible ones they've been doing just fine with. I'm gonna stick with those. Those aren't an issue. But yeah, I need a mat, I need a bowl. There's a mat, there's a bowl. Perfect, I'm like tempted to get one of these. They, why don't they have, they have like a big one in gray, but they only have the other, are they for, oh, they're only for dog food. I was gonna say, I get like one of those ref, like um, dog water bowls that like refill themselves. I don't need that. I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna get this. This is good. This is perfect. All right. I found what I came for. That was, that was really easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Much better than yesterday. Oh my gosh, look at the rats. What? Oh, those are so cute. Okay, you know what? I said I didn't want a pet, 
I would get a cute little rat. Have you ever seen the hairless ones? Those guys are adorable. I had a friend who had a pet rat. They're, they're, they're great. They, they, they sit on your shoulder and like they don't move. Small male rat down there. There's a female mouse. I don't really want a mouse. Although they're cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. Those guys are adorable. I don't want a mouse, but oh my gosh. Is that a, that's a, that's a large male rat. Look at him, that black one right there. That's what I want. Right, I think Danielle would be okay with me getting a rat. Give me a picture cute too. Hi. All right, anyway, I need to, I feel like I need to stop looking at the, uh, are these ferrets? Oh, there's ferrets. I need to stop looking at the animals. <laughs> I just said animals are a big responsibility. And I don't feel like taking care of animals, but you could see me with a rat, right? What would I name him? What would I, what would I name, Rizzo? I don't know, what would I name, what would I name the rat if I, if I, if I was to get a rat? I, I came in for, I came in for supplies for dogs that I don't really even want to be taken care of. And now I'm looking at animals, not, not good. All right, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want a bird. They're cute, I don't want a bird. All right, anyway, I'm getting out of here now. I don't know guys, those, <laughs> those rats are pretty cute, right? Uh, who knows, how, does, any of you guys own a rat or have you ever owned a rat? Are they a big responsibility? Like how much work? Yeah, well, you know, no. Because Danielle and I, we plan on going places. We plan on, we want to travel. We want to, you know, on weekends where we don't have the kids, we want to go maybe to the beach, go somewhere far away. We can't have a pet, even something as small as a rat. No, 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 no. Still, leave your comments down below. Let me know, are they a huge responsibility? I'm not gonna get one. Let, it, let us know. All right, anyway, I got, I got a dog dish. I've got a mat, got easy peasy. Um, I, again, I don't know where we're gonna go next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna GPS it, see if the post office or Goodwill is closer, and then we'll go to whichever one we hit first. I think that's all I have to do, right? I've got, that's all, all I have to do, do today? I feel like there's more, I feel like there's more errands I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Okay, we've made it to the other Winter Garden and Post Office because according to my GPS, that was what was um, the closest. The Goodwill is still down the street a little bit. So this is the kind of the main big post office here in Winter Garden. We're actually in Winter Garden now, by the way. Before, apparently, according to signs I saw, we were actually in Claremont, Florida, not, not Winter Garden, like I said at the beginning of this video. I'm still getting my bearings straight down here. So we were in Claremont, not Winter Garden, now we're in Winter Garden, Florida. So the reason why we decided to go with the smaller post office that's in downtown Winter Garden is because this one supposedly can get rather busy. It's, it's the, main, the main post office, it's, it's the main hub. It's right on again, Route 50. Everybody goes to this post office and as such, it can get very, very busy, supposedly. So there could be a line to do my business at this post office, but I mean, I guess maybe it's worth waiting a line a little bit because, you know, heaven, heaven forbid somebody takes a minute and a half out of their busy schedule to, to do their job. Yeah. So I, I really want to use the, the, the post office in, in downtown Winter Garden because it's smaller. There's not a lot of people there. But again, that lady was just extremely rude. So we're going to try this post office out. We're going to see what midday at the the main like route 50 winter garden post office is like and hopefully they can again take a minute and a half out of their very very busy schedule to to send out my packages and maybe they won't throw them across the room into a bin either Jeez. anyway all right let's, let's check out this post office let's see how this goes and hopefully it goes well and hopefully hopefully there's no there's no line and that is how you go to a post office or should i say that is how the post office does their job. There was a little line, nothing crazy. I, I'm, I don't know, maybe stood in line for all of um, five minutes most, Prob probably not even five minutes. They had three cashiers in there, three employees in there working each and every counter area, each and every scale, whatever you want to call it. They had, they had plenty of employees in there. Line was moving pretty fast. They did not question anything. They didn't say, oh, you, you're sending out packages. Oh, I have to. I had to take a minute and a half to scan these. How, how dare you? <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. Just in and out for the most part. So I'm thinking if I use the post office either early in the morning or like, 
you know, early midday, I should be good for not having any crazy lines. Apparently though, like after work or like around like the late afternoon, this post office can get crazy. So I just won't come then. I'll just make sure I come uh, very early in the morning or like at least mid, early, early, early mid afternoon, like, I, like it is now. So I might be getting a PO, I might be getting a PO box here because I don't feel like going to two post offices. Man, that lady would just do her job. <laughs> I'll try her again. Maybe she was having an off day. Maybe, you know what? I'll give her a be benefit of the doubt. Maybe she was just having a bad day. Maybe she was swamped with work. Maybe she was just super busy and thought, oh, I gotta deal with another customer. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'll try, I'll try that post office again, but that was much better, much better experience. That's how a post office should be operating. All right, so I think the Goodwill is right down the street, if I'm not mistaken. Again, trying to get my bearings straight, but I'm pretty sure it's like, like a minute down the road. So we're gonna go there. After that, I want to get some food. I am starving. And then I'm thinking I want to run to Target actually quickly. Not to pick up a movie or anything, but I want to, I want to see if they have any like little, I don't know, these little containers. I think they might have little containers. I don't know if they're going to have the containers I need. I need like ones that are really short. I don't know if they'll have those, but I might stop there and, and check it out. Why, why the heck not? All right. Let's go see if we can find anything good at, uh, at Goodwill. I love it. I'm getting my bearings straight. I'm finally, I'm, I'm, fi I'm figuring out. I am when I'm in um, when I'm in Florida now. Over the last couple of months, coming down here and traveling along Route 50 and down little back streets and stuff, I'm getting my bearings. So I, I was right. The uh, at the post office, one minute down the road was the was the Winter Garden Goodwill. This Goodwill, you know what? I shouldn't even say this Goodwill's hit or miss. All Goodwills are hit or miss. The the Claremont or no, yeah, Claremont. Goodwill I was at yesterday. That, that's hit or miss too, but I found some good deals there. This one here, again, also kind of hit or miss. It's cool looking though. I love the the outside of this, this Goodwill. One of the most interesting looking Goodwills. It's very modern, very hipster looking if you, very hipster looking if you, uh, if you will. But anyway, so yeah, I've walked out of here empty handed, but I've walked out of, I, I've walked out of every Goodwill empty handed. I'm, I'm keeping that power of positivity alive. We're gonna find at least one movie I wanna pick up for me today. So I just walked in and um, right up front is this Avengers Infinity War Iron Man. That's pretty cool for eight bucks. I'm gonna pass on that. I like how they put some of the more inch. Oh my gosh, look at the Cinderella castle for 50. That is cool. And it's very, very gold, meaning Danielle would probably be perfectly fine with us putting that like on display in the house. She's, she's kind of picky when it comes to things she wants on display. She's like, eh, you know, if it's too colorful or too kitschy or too kitty looking, not so much, but I'm, I'm down for gold. That's a lot of gold. She, she would definitely put that on display. That's cool. I'm not gonna get it because it's 50 bucks, but that's awesome. They also have a Vinylmation of, um, oh, a 2011 Vinylmation for, for six bucks. I love Vinylmations. They don't really make, I mean, they, they still make these occasionally for like special, events and special things but they don't they don't make these like they used to these used to be like a big whole story big time collectible hundreds of people thousands of people collecting those very very popular disney collectibles that everybody loved and even even me i loved i loved vinyl nations and then they like disney put this guy in charge of the vinyl nations who like didn't care about the vinyl nations and like basically let the whole thing just die off it's, it's a shame vinyl nations were cool disney Bring them back. All right, but forget the vinyl nations. That's not why we came here today. We came for the movies and they actually do have a fairly decent stock. And oh my gosh, look at all the Blu-rays down here. And whoa, look at the seasons of, of Smallville. I wanna say I have all those already. I'm gonna have to double check those. So, all right, lots of Blu-rays, lots of DVDs, lots of CDs, some video games up there. I'm keeping that power of positivity alive, definitely. There, there has to be something here. I need for my collection. There, there's gotta be. Okay, so I, I double checked and yeah, I do actually already have all these seasons of Smallville on Blu-ray, so I don't need those. In fact, anything here of any interest I have whatsoever, I, I already own. I have all these Blu-rays. I don't need any of those. I did find the Curious Case of Benjamin Button Criterion Collection DVD. The, the DVD is actually something I don't see that often. The Blu-ray is extremely common though, probably one of the most common um, criterions out there is the Blu-ray release of this. I think it was a very common rental at um, places like Blockbuster. So I, I don't need this. I have that on Blu-ray. But what I don't have, well, 
This is pretty cool too. It's 50 shades darker, the Digibook. I have it in 4K, so I don't need that, but I don't have this Moon Pilot. This is a Disney Movie Club exclusive. I do not have this movie in my collection. That is actually really, really awesome. The disc is not in the most mintiest of condition. I think it's gonna play just fine. It's not, it's not bad. No major scratches, only very minor scratches, but I mean, it's a, it's a Disney movie called Exclusive. I, I don't come across these in the wild very often. That is cool. So I've done it. I, I found something for me and I only just started looking. Well, this is a shame, I guess. It's the um, the Shirley Temple Little Darling Collection. I might already have all of these. In fact, I'm like 95% sure I actually already have all these in like, indi in like individual, well, not individual releases, but I think there's like three different volume sets. And I think all these, all these movies come in those three different volume sets. So I don't really need this, but I, I, I like this set. I, I dig this. I would tell, yeah, there you go. Volume one, two, and three. So I think those are just the, probably the same discs, just repackaged. But I like this packaging. I like this, but they have it all shrink wrapped up and I can't actually look at the discs. They're asking, they're also asking $10 for it. So I'm thinking for 10 bucks, I'm going to, I'm going to just pass anyway. But again, I can't actually look at the discs. So I'm going to, I'm going to pass on that. They also have some Nat Geo here, Guns, Germs, and Steel. I think I already own this. I, I don't know, it, it's scratched anyway, so I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna bother to look it up. Again though, kind of a shame. I, I just, I, I dig the packaging. I kind of like that packaging better than what I have, but again, I, I can't look at the discs. It's, it's shrink wrapped. This National Geographic, on the other hand though, is brand new factory sealed. It's um, Years of Living Dangerously season two. Now I could swear I already owned at least, I don't know, one of these seasons, if not maybe season one and season two and so on and, and so forth. I, I don't know, but I, I have recently actually updated my, my list. I, I, I have cataloged all my National Geographic titles and this is not in there. So I guess I don't own this. I, I'm gonna take the chance, whatever. It's, it's brand new. It's some brand new factory sealed at Nat Geo. I'm picking it up. I, I guess I don't own it. All right, so I'm thinking that's gonna do it for the uh, for the movies over there, but they did just bring these movies out and I'm seeing some interesting things like Tower of Terror. I'm totally picking this up. It's, I don't wanna say obscure, but it it's not really a, um, a Disney title I come across very often. And when I usually put this in the store, it, it does sell pretty quickly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up. That is awesome. Not for me, again, I already have it. Grabbing that for the store. I was also going to pick up Rockadoodle. This is the um, the Olive Films release. I was gonna grab this for the store as well. I have the, the Blu-ray Rockadoodle release in my collection, but uh, this is not in very good condition. The disc is like completely destroyed. So gonna pass on that. I was also tempted by Holiday Inn until I double checked and turns out I actually already own it. Do not need that. But this here, this I, I am gonna pick up. This is the Jungle Book, the 55th anniversary Blu-ray DVD digital code, Disney Movie Club exclusive slipcover release, brand new factory seal. Now I don't need that for me. Again, I already own that movie in my collection, but due to the fact that it's unopened and has that slip, I'm gonna grab that for um, for the store. So I'm thinking that's gonna do it for the movies. They had some other, other Blu-rays over here, like the, uh, the Hunger Games and Hobbits and Twilights. And there was another Jungle Book down here and Thor Ragnarok, but that's all stuff I, I already own. Season six of Smallville and Let's Be Cops and Footloose and some interesting things. So pretty decent selection here. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the the movies that they have, but I'm thinking, yeah, that's that's gonna do it. I don't really see anything else. I did go through the music as well. Did not see any good punk or ska or anything I, I really wanted over here. So, all right, yeah. I might just, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna double check, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is gonna do it. All right, so yeah, I double checked and uh, nothing else over there I wanna pick up. It's just gonna be these, just just gonna be these, these four titles. That's that's gonna do it. But ow, I just totally hit my elbow on a, on a shelf. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know, power of positivity. I am gonna quickly look around the rest of the store, see if anything else jumps out at me. I, I do find thrifting down here in Florida really exciting because you sometimes come across some really cool Disney stuff. And I mean, as somebody who loves me some Disney, it's pretty cool to come across some really cool Disney stuff. So I'm gonna quickly just again, glance around, see what, that's cool. See what else I can find. And maybe there's something else I I wanna pick up. Ooh, look at the, 
the Disney World fanny pack. That's cool. Should I rock a, rock a fanny pack? What is this? I've never seen, again, cool Disney things I've never even seen before. I, I have never seen that. That is, that is neat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. I'm already finding cool stuff. Not cool stuff I wanna pick up, but I'm finding cool stuff. I don't know. I mean, the condition of these is not terrible. Uh, I'm tempted to pick up the, the goofy ears for, for Danielle's collection. Honestly, I want these for me. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> That's so cool. They're only asking $6 for these. I guess they're not in bad condition. Actually, they look, they look fairly decent. I don't, I don't know. I'm, te I'm tempted to grab those. Maybe I should, maybe I should send Danielle a text, see if she wants these for, for her collection. We, we all know I really want to pick these up just for me. I don't know. I'm going to send her a text. Maybe I'll get these. For a second, I thought this was actually pretty amazing and I might have to pick it up. I don't know if it's actually SeaWorld branded, but I thought it was a Shamu soap dish, but then I picked it up and water actually started coming out of it. So that's kind of gross. I'm just going to pass on that. This though is tempting to not pass on. It's a Dino Institute Mickey Mouse. These are um, these are going to be a little bit more rare in the, the not too distant future. They're actually getting rid of Dino Land USA in in Disney's Animal Kingdom. So these are going to be collector's items at some point. I'm only asking four dollars for this. I don't know. It, it's kind of it looks clean. I don't usually pick up plush without uh, without original tags. I don't know. I can't remember. I know I. I got one of these for Sean, but I can't remember if I got him the Mickey or the Minnie. He has the mini. I kind of feel like I should buy this. I, sh I could clean it. I kind of feel like I should buy this for him. But if he already has the Mickey, then he doesn't need it. I don't remember. You know what? On second thought, I'm just going to pass on the Mickey. There's like, I don't know what that is. Like some kid's um, residue of a, of a lollipop or something on it. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's kind of kind of gross. I, I, mi I missed that. I thought it was I thought it was pretty clean. It was not. There's there's whatever, whatever's on that. So it's cool. It's collectible. Somebody, some reseller's gonna gonna buy that and have a field day with it. I'm just gonna pass. I'm pretty sure I just could have made a whole video based on this Goodwill alone. I'm finding so much cool stuff. Like look at this interesting kitchen towel from Princess Bride. That is cool for only four dollars. I mean, we don't really need a kitchen towel, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. And they also have this. Um, EA Sports, like th these are these are intense. These are um, like tennis rackets for for the for the Wii. But I mean, they're like full size tennis rackets. I've never seen that. I've seen these um, these like accessories you put onto your your Wii, Wii remotes before, but they're usually like smaller. No, these are like full size. That is intense for only what seven bucks. I, I I'm like tempted to pick those up for for Sean, but I don't know how often how often is he going to play like tennis. I, I mean, maybe often. I I like playing tennis. Not not no, not so much the, I don't know, the EA Sports tennis, but uh, I do enjoy playing. Are these real? Uh, no, I think these are also fake. Anyway, I do enjoy playing the um, the Wii Sports tennis, but I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm probably just going to pass on those. These ears are cool, though. They're Again, they're fake. They're not actual legit Disney ears, but those are pretty... Cool. These are all these are all fake ears, but I like it. They're haunted. They're haunted mansion, but again, they're they're not legit, so I can't I, I can't buy non legit ears. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe going to Petco is kind of stupid. They they have water and and food bowls here. Look at this nom nom one. That that's pretty cool. And they do have a plastic one. Love Earth. I don't know. That's that's okay. I mean, I dig the one I got. I, I like. The water bowl I got. Plus, they don't actually have the, um, the the mats that I needed, so maybe it was good I went to Petco. But I, I honestly did not even think to look uh, to look here for for pet supplies. They've got them. Ooh, they've also got a oops, a Wonder Woman eighty four. Yeah, another Wonder Woman eighty four popcorn bucket. I just saw a different one of these the other day at the other Goodwill in uh, in Claremont, but I I pass on it because what do I need with a what do I need with a popcorn bucket from one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my entire life? I don't, so I'm gonna pass on that. All right, I'm thinking that might just about 
do it. I, don't know, I got like one or two more rows. I don't know why I said that's just about gonna do it. I'm gonna keep finding cool stuff like this. Um, Disney's Hollywood Studios, like Tumblr. That's amazing for only $5. I don't know, I don't really need that. I also don't really need this, but I want it. It's a ceramic Disneyland Resort 1955 cup. That is cool. Oh, what's it say? The happiest place on earth. I don't know why it says Disneyland so many. Like, why, why does it have to say Disneyland Resort and then Disneyland Resort and then Disneyland Resort and then Disneyland Resort? I feel like that's a little bit over, a little overkill with the um, with the Disneyland. But still, that's that's a really cool ceramic mug for only uh, seven dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna like I'm gonna pass. I don't. I don't need it. We, we, we have enough ceramic mugs and whatnot in a cabinet as it is. We, we don't need that. Oh, so close. We have a gray dustpan, but no gray brush to go along with it. That would have been a cool find. O honestly, as much as I'm freaking out over all of this stuff, had I actually found a gray dustpan and brush here, that would have been really, really cool. What the heck is... Should I, should I start going to, this is, that's Orlando, that's Orlando Magic, right? Should I start going to basketball games? I mean, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on that, but oh my gosh, what? Three dollars? I really want this armadillo magnet. Why are they asking three? That's cool. I'm not paying three bucks for that though. All right, so that actually is just about going to do it. We are picking up the uh, the goofy ears. Those are pretty cool. Danielle said yes to those, but um, I'm gonna have to send her some more pictures now because I'm finding more Mickey and Minnie ears over here. Again, a lot of these are not legit. They're, they're handmade or whatever, but some of them are legit. Like this really cool little mermaid one, that is awesome. There's more over here as well. I'm gonna see if she needs any of these. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a couple more pictures because I'm, I might be picking up a few more, a few more Mickey ears and, and, and mini ears. So while I wait to hear from Danielle to see if she wants those ears or not, look at the cool Beetlejuice pop. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm over here looking at Funko Pops, of course. They're, oh, is that a Whitney? Whoa, it's a Whitney Houston pop. That... God? Anyway, so the uh, the Whitney Houston pop is really cool for only $8. Again, things I just don't need. Do they have two of them? Oh, they're they're different. I mean, that uh those are cool. The Aquaman's cool too, but yeah, those are those are pretty neat. Yeah, yeah, again, thing I'm not, I'm not paying 20 bucks for a Beetlejuice, and I don't know. I'm tempted by um by seven, why is that one $7 and that one's See, I think they're I think they're actually looking up pricing, pricings on things. There's some more Mickey ears, by the way, and mini ears. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are cool. We actually have these. Those are awesome. Oh, no. What? <sighs> We're in trouble. I'm still waiting to hear back from Danielle, so I'm, I'm walking around the store a little bit more, and now I'm finding this. I, I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain this was actually from the Disney All-Star Music re Resort before they um, before they overhauled it, before they redid it. They're only asking $25 for this. I mean, come on. You, you reframe that? That is cool. I I question how much uh, how much reframing that would be. See, that's the problem. I want that. I would totally buy that for the house. But again, how much would reframing that be? I, I, I'm guessing it's probably, see, I don't know. Is it a weird size? Is it, a, is it a standard size? Like I could maybe very easily find a frame for this or maybe it's a really weird, bizarre size. I don't have a tape measure. I don't know. That's cool. That is really cool. I feel like I should take a picture of that and send that to Danielle as well. Okay, so I just heard back from Danielle and she does actually want a couple pairs of ears. She wants the aerial ears. She wants the um, 45th anniversary ears. Those are actually really, really cool. She wants the Cinderella ears and she wants these um, light up ears. So these are only four bucks a piece. The uh, Cinderella is only five. The um, the 45th anniversary ones are actually only $4. So those are cool. And the uh, aerial ones here are also five. So, all right, not, not bad for like under, what, under 20 bucks? She's getting, she's getting four pairs of uh, ears. Well, I guess for a little over, 
20 bucks because she's getting the goofy as well. So, all right, pretty cool. We went through the rest of the ears as well. She didn't see anything else she wants. So, all right, yeah, we're, we're getting these for her, her ever-growing ear collection. Wait a minute, hold on. There's actually one more pair of ears she decided she wanted. These um, princess, or no, pirate princess ears. Those are pretty cool. She said she's never actually seen these before. Also for only $5. So, all right. We're spending close to like $30 on ears. But still, th $30 for what? One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of ears. That's a heck of a deal. That's like the price of one pair of ears in the park. So, all right. She's getting all of those. And I'm leaving now because this trip that I came in looking for a couple of movies for got really... Really expensive, really fast for essentially Danielle, who is not even here. All right, wow, I was definitely inside the uh, the Goodwill there for longer than I had anticipated being inside that Goodwill. Again, I could have just just done a whole video for the for the Goodwill in of itself. All right, anyway, so uh, got the ears, got those, got the movies, which is cool. Got some stuff for me, got some stuff for the store, and uh, passed on passed on most everything else. The um, the really cool print from. Was it all-star music? That was awesome. But Danielle's like, I don't really know where we'd put it. So we decided to pass on that. And, um, oh, that, that Funko Pop, that, that um, like, what was it, 100 years or whatever, the, the really cool, or the 60th anniversary, whatever that was, the, the really cool, like, Cinderella Castle Funko Pop. Danielle's like, yeah, that's neat. I already have it. So apparently we already have one of those. So I have to, I guess I have to dig that out of wherever it is and uh, put it on display. So, all right, anyway, whew, that's gonna do it for Goodwill. I'm starving. I want some food. I don't know what I'm gonna eat though. I need I need something because I it, it's getting late and I'm 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 hungry. I do kind of still want to get a Target. Yeah, food first. So I was just about to head down the street to Culver's because um there is one right right down the street from the Goodwill, and then I thought you know what I've had Culver's for um three days now in a row or two no like yeah three days now in a row I've had I've had Culver's and if I was to eat Culver's. Again today, that'd be my fourth time eating Culver's since I've gotten down here, which is a lot of Culver's. And, and don't get me wrong, they're delicious. I love them. They got good burgers, they got good fries, they got hair sticking out. They got good burgers, they got good fries, they got good um, custard. I, I like Culver's, but yeah, it's, that's a lot of Culver's. That's a lot of burgers. So I'm thinking, <laughs> not healthy, but let's do some Little Caesars instead. I haven't had Little Caesars in a long time. I love their pizza. Although you wanna talk about hit or miss, this is hit or miss. Little Caesars is very, very hit or miss. I'm either about to get a nice, warm, delicious, like like perfectly made pizza that's gonna, gonna satisfy my, my stomach, or I'm, I'm about to get a, a lukewarm mess. Could go either way, but I'm gonna test my luck and get some some Little Caesars. And I know, I did say I was gonna start eating healthy, healthier when I got down here. It's coming, it's coming. We haven't gone grocery shopping yet, but healthier eating is coming. Okay, pizza's in the um, the van, but look at this amazing figment. Is that a sticker? I think it's a sticker. I've never seen that one before with the old school Epcot like emblem on it. That is that is a cool sticker. I noticed around here there's a lot of Disney stickers and a lot of Disney magnets on on vehicles, including including mine. I like look I like looking at all the different um, Disney stickers and magnets people have on their car. But all right, anyway, let's see what kind of pizza did I get. Mediocre, terrible, are delicious. We got, ooh, that's looking like a good pizza. I can tell immediately, oh, I'm salivating now. I can tell immediately. Like, it, you just know, if you open up the box and it's a bad pizza, you can just tell it's gonna be a bad pizza just by the way it looks. The cheese is like, it just, eh. But sometimes you look at a pizza and you're like, yeah, that's perfect. It's cooked perfect. The pepperoni looks amazing. The cheese looks amazing. Everything about that pizza looks looks amazing. And I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm literally drooling. It's uh, like 1.30 in the afternoon and I have not eaten yet today. So I know it's not healthy, but it's pizza. Okay, I am pretty much beyond ready to go home at this point. It's just, it's been a much longer day than I had anticipated, a much longer morning than I had anticipated. Kind of figured I'd be home by now already, but. We're driving past it. It was on my side of the road. I was driving on anyway, so we're, we're here at Target. There is something I want to look for. I want to look for little, like, like really little kind of like, I don't want to say dishes, but like storage. I'm not, what's I'm looking for? Not, they're not dishes. They're like storage, um, little containers, little like separating containers you'd put inside a drawer. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I want to find some of those for the new um, tool chest I just bought. I know they actually make ones like four tool chests, but I looked them up. They're kind of expensive. 
So I was hoping maybe they have something like that at um, Target. I know they, I know they have things like that at Target. I just don't know if they're gonna be too tall. The, um, I mean the 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 drawer is only maybe like like an inch tall. They're not they're not very tall. So I don't know if they'll have what I'm looking for here. But again, we were driving past. It's uh, it's right here. Let's check them out. And that pizza, by the way, was was amazing. No, I did not eat the whole entire pizza. I did eat half of it, but not the entire pizza. It's actually cheaper to get that whole pizza and a bottle of soda than it is to get like a hamburger and fries and a Coke at most other places. It's cheap pizza, but man, it's, it's a good pizza. All right, anyway, let's go see what they have. Let's make this a very quick trip. I'm tired, I wanna go home. It's kind of weird to think about that these are my new hometown stores. The Targets I used to go to all the time back in Pennsylvania are no longer my hometown stores, the stores I would always be inside. The targets I would be inside multiple times a week are no longer my hometown stores. These are now my hometown stores. These are the targets I'm gonna be going to all the time. It's kind of weird to think about that. Like right now I feel like a, like a tourist, like I'm just, I'm here, but like this, this isn't my target, but it is. This is now my target. The Walmart I was at the other day will be my Walmart. The grocery store I was at the other day will be my a grocery store. It's weird. I still kind of feel like a tourist, but I guess I shouldn't. I don't know. I gotta get, gotta get used to this whole living here thing now, I, I, I guess. Okay, so I kind of found what I'm looking for, but that's gonna be way too deep for some of the smaller drawers. I don't really know what I want to do with the, like the, the larger drawers yet. I am looking at this though. See, but I think, I think even that might be too too thick i don't know but look at this this six compartment drawer organizer that is awesome that would hold screwdrivers and, and wrenches and separate everything quite nicely but i i question if that's too thick it's not there's not a lot of clearance i mean it they don't they don't make the drawers super thick because they're just meant to hold you know thin thin tools not big bulky tools i mean there are there are bulky drawers in the <laughs> in the um cabinet that I could use like some bulkier storage things for, but I don't know. See, I just, I think, I think that's too thick. I don't, like, I don't think that's gonna work. I want this. Like, this seems perfect. This really does seem like it would, it would do the job I want it to do, but I think I'm thinking that's, I think that's too, I think that's too thick. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's really only one way I can find out and that's just to buy it and then get home and, is that really all they have? I could swear I remember seeing other ones before. I don't know. I guess that really the only way I'm gonna know is if I buy it and then get home and find out. It's not like I'm not gonna come back to Target. I'm at the store every like four minutes. So I don't know. Maybe I'll buy those, test them out. If they work, great. If they don't, I'll be back like in a week. A week? No, I'll be back in a day or two. A week? I'll be back in a day or two. <laughs> I might be back tonight. <laughs> Probably, honestly. And then I'll, uh, I can just return them. Is that really all they have though? That might be all they have. I've got to stop coming into these stores. So um, yeah, came in for drawer organizers, even though I might not be using those and I'm finding these, but of course they only have, are you kidding me? They only have two. So this might actually work for the, um, I mean, they're, they're a little bit different, but they might actually work for the coat hangers we need. I'm, I'm thinking the, uh, yeah, I'm thinking these would work. They attach differently, but that's a, that's okay. I think that like round part there is big enough to cover the old holes. So that would be really cool. But again, they have two, I need three. So that's not really helping me much now, is it? Well, I was about to say, oh, I'm gonna spend, you know, m money that I don't, I wasn't planning on spending in here. Although I, again, I do need to, I do need to buy those, but they don't have enough, so never mind. Okay, so I'm finding these stackable trays and I'm kind of digging these. They come in one, two, three different sizes and um, like a bunch of different depths. I'm, I'm digging these. And they are actually, I don't know, I was gonna say a, a 14th of an inch, but I think that's being very generous. Maybe not even an eighth of an inch, probably a 16th of an inch shorter than, than those, which could be good. Cause again, I don't even know if those are gonna fit in the drawers. Although I don't know if these would fit in the drawers either. I'm just digging the different sizes and shapes these come in. I, I, I like that. That could be very, very useful, but they are asking $10 a piece on these, $5 for those. 
So again, I, I dig the um, I dig the different sizes and different shapes and depths and whatnot. I, I like the I like the fact that there's variety. I, I, I enjoy that, but the pricing is way is going to be way way more than those. So I think I'm just going to go with those for now. If they don't work, or if they if it turns out that these are literally like like a sixteenth of an inch too tall to fit in the uh, in the drawers, then maybe I'll come back and I'll get these. I don't know. I like those, but. I don't really like the, the pricing. Are these the same? You see, look. Oh, uh, these are even, sh are you kidding me? These are, even, these are even shorter, but they only come in one size, two, two colors, one size. Why don't they make these? It's the same company. It's this uh, Bright Room. Why don't they make these in multiple sizes like those? They have the tall ones. Yeah, th these come in only a, a few select different sizes. That's a shame. That is a shame. If they had these in all these sizes for those prices, I'd be buying those, but they don't. So, all right, well, anyway, I'm gonna try these. I, I don't know if they'll work, but I'm gonna try them. Okay, so I am just about done again. I really wanna get home, but I'm finding these. I like these little mirrors. I was thinking about getting one of those mirrors that you kind of like attach to the wall, but then I have to bolt it to the wall, try to find a stud, that could be an issue. This here is essentially the same thing, but it just sits on a counter. I dig that and Danielle could put her rings and stuff in here. So it's a, wow, three times magnifying mirror on that side and a standard mirror on that side and it's gold. So I'm thinking I might wanna get this. What are they asking on this? It's only 25 bucks. I'm thinking I might get this for, um, for the bathroom and we actually do need, they ask that, also 25 bucks. We do need a new trash can. I won't say how the old trash can got destroyed. And <coughs> y'all, <clears throat> sorry, something in my, my throat there. <laughs> we need a new one and it's gold. So it matches everything in the, um, in the bathroom. So I know it's like 50 bucks, but we, I mean, okay. We don't need a, we don't need a gold trash can, but why not, right? This we kind of do need. I actually really wanted something like that. I've actually in the last like three days I've been here, been, a couple of times wanting to have a a mirror like that. So, all right. Again, you, you come into the store looking for one thing and you buy a bunch of other things and you end up, you end up dropping 50 more dollars than you had anticipated on spending, but I, I do want those. So, oh my gosh, they got, so many, they got so much cool gold stuff here. Maybe I shouldn't bring Danielle here. Anyway, so I'm, I'm getting those. And with that, I'm leaving because I'm already spending more money than I had wanted to to spend. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today. A much longer day than I had anticipated. I mean, it was, it was the Goodwill. The Goodwill is what really added on the uh, the time. I, I was in there for a lot longer than I thought. But with that being said, a much, a much better, much more positive, much more productive day than yesterday. Yesterday, I wasn't really finding what I wanted. Today, I found a bunch of awesome stuff. Pretty much everything I wanted to get, I got, minus the, um, what, the, uh, the coat, the coat hangers. I couldn't find, I mean, I found ones I like. In fact, I'll probably have to, I think there's, a, I think there's another target in the area. Yeah, there is. I know, I know where there is another, another target. I'm not going today. Well, I mean, maybe tonight with Danielle, but not now. Anyway, so now that I know Target has, it's getting windy. Now that I know Target has coat, coat hangers, I want, I might, um, I might have to go back to Target. So, all right, anyway. Again, productive day, lots of stuff bought, pretty much everything for the most part I was looking for, I found. But with that, I'm going home. I got, <laughs> I got work to do at home. I'm not going home to sit down and relax. I am going home to do more work around the house. I might even put those papers down. But I'm sorry, but, uh, see, they got me saying it. <laughs> I might go put those stepping stones down so I can, I can do some stepping on them. Anyway, all right. <sighs> My door's not unlocking. Why the heck not? There we go. All right. So anyway, guys, with that, we are done. Thank you guys for joining me on my errands and my, well, I did some thrifting today as well, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I love that you guys are digging, are digging these videos because there will be a lot more of these kind of videos coming in the, in the future. There's a lot of chores and errands and things like that that I have to, to do. So I enjoy that you guys like watching these videos. <sighs> but all right, with that, we are done. I'm tired, as you can see. I'm, I'm, I'm just, 
even though I have more work to do at home. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just getting home and just doing it there because I am, I am beat. So as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do, become a patron. I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Ah, ooh, geez, I never sent a, sorry. <laughs> I never sent a postcard out for this month. Did, did I? No, I don't think I did. Man, again, all the chaos of moving, I completely forgot. I'm gonna have to send you guys postcards, like, net, like Monday. So, wow, yeah, my bad. Anyway, also putting my cart back because I'm not a jerk. So again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down the links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will see a post start every single month from the road. Sometimes maybe a little late, but definitely, definitely once a month, never the less. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro, rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do help support the show and they do keep the show going. So I really do appreciate the support. <sighs> I'm loving it here in sunny, beautiful Florida. It's nice. I'm, I'm digging it. Cell reception is a little wonky, but other than that, I'm loving it here. Power of positivity. All right, I'm going to go home work on the house. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hit that like button. Oh, if you guys watch this video, if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, what should today's hashtag be? Hashtag coat hanger hangups. There you go, coat hanger hangups. If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, because it's the only thing I can't really find. So, well, that's a lie. I did find one I like, just not the not the right amount. Anyway, guys, I don't know. Is that a stupid? Is that a stupid hashtag? It's the hashtag anyway. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe, oh my god, and you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye. All right, so it's a couple hours later and Danielle just got home. She's noticing my new handiwork here, <laughs> hanging the new mirror. And that's the thing I was telling you about that we need new coat rack hangers for and hung a picture here. But there's one more thing I want to show you and, and you. So you know what I think we need to do? We should really take the trash out. Okay. So you should probably, I think you should totally take the trash out. You should totally do it. Did you buy a new trash can? No, you, but you should totally take the trash out because it's getting a little full. I'm thinking it needs to, needs to By happen. By the way, I strongly dislike that you're filming in here. So I, it, I told everybody, the house is a mess. It's a disaster at the moment. We're, we're in the process of, <laughs> of cleaning up. So go ahead, take the trash out. Gotta, gotta get the trash. Get, the trash, the trash, see it's getting, it's getting kind of full. The trash needs to be, to be taken out. Go ahead. I've been really busy today. All right, tra trash has been gotten, right? Okay, so we, we've got to take it over to the trash can, all right? <laughs> let's, let's, go, let, let's just go to the trash can. Front. You should totally walk between the cars, by the way, to get there. Okay. Go, go ahead, keep going. <laughs> how's that well it doesn't help if you kick the stones but but how's that that's so cute so two was the answer i wasn't sure if i needed to get just like one big Aww. one or two small ones two small ones and i did not even plan this but they kind of matched the brick of the the uh, driveway that was just a happy little accident so yeah I now, love that. now i was gonna say now we don't have to kick the stones but you somehow managed <laughs> to do it anyway <laughs> but now we can now we can walk over here. We can take the trash out. We don't have to walk around the cars. We don't have to step through the little stone area. We can just go on the on the stepping stones and take the and take the trash out. Look at that. And done. All right. <laughs> I'm a busy little bee. You are a busy little bee. All right, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.